looks like we might be live here. Uh, <clears throat> if this is live, uh, I don't think it is because the Marines aren't moving. Okay, nope, they might be live. This might be just part of the strategy. And the aliens just saw that there was, uh, <coughs> excuse me, an extractor. This was a quick start. Extractor was uh, ready in ventilation, so the Marines are coming in, and they tried to hide. They're hiding. They're underneath and on the side over here. So we're going to try to jump these Marines real quick. See X-1 taking a few bites. Shoot to kill, gets him down, and tries to bail out. He's got a black bar, so he's got no life left. But somehow managed to stay alive through all that. Uh, you see mine starting up first. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of action going on, uh, especially for an early game. You see the Atrium Hive was dropped almost immediately, and now it takes three minutes to build instead of the two and a half that it's been for a while. And we got one Marine building power up here. we got uh, Marines pushing in towards the alien start and data core. I don't know if they exactly know this there, but they do now, that's for sure. This Bixum starts the engagement. Just dropping mines all over the place. They get two guys down. You got a gorge trying to set some hydras up, <clears throat> using the long line of sight to take out some of these eggs and hit the harvester, but they seem to be spreading their fire. Looks like they're getting ammo drops. Here come the aliens to try to take out this early push by the Marines. One down, two down, third one shouldn't be too far behind them. This Marine's <clears throat> then just pushing up by himself, no problem. Excuse me, I'm trying to clear my throat up. Uh, and he's heading towards Crossroads now as Bixum starts to head in the other direction, but there are two more guys behind him that will find out very quickly that, he, that he's there. And I don't know if either is aware that there's another guy there, or maybe they're just trying to set up traps, but you see two extractors going down on the mini-map. This is really the only action that's even potentially happening on the field. Uh, you got, <clears throat> excuse me, one Marine still building in crevice with an incoming skulk. Dreidel is trying to be quiet about it. Satanic is just getting that extractor started. And here comes the drifter to probably give a little enzyme help. But he uh, has to bail out very quickly and the commander moves the, uh, the drifter as the extractor and <clears throat> flight control goes down. These Marines are putting a lot of pressure on the alien start. You see them going for the initial harvester, and it's at 2% right now. There's a couple more bullets as they try to defend themselves. The Scourge is, uh, <coughs> Lebowski is trying to keep it up, but a little bit too late. Uh, Bixum coming in from behind there. But I actually decides to hold off. I'm assuming he's waiting for a wave spawn. There it is. So you should see a couple seconds here, and they'll start the fight. And they scan the uh, atrium hive too, so they, the Marines know that that's there. They're gonna have to decide whether they want to hit <coughs> Data Core, which is mostly built up already, or try to take out Atrium. As a uh, good use of the mines by ZQ right there, running back over his mine, getting it to explode and do a bunch of damage to the alien and finishing him off. A little bit of combat up in crevice, but it didn't last very long, obviously. Apparently somebody's trying to use voice chat in the game or something. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I thought I muted that. Tapar is going to get killed here as his teammates kind of left him out to dry. Morty and Dreidel were, I assume, close enough to help, but they might have thought it would be not worth it just to let the Marines have that long hallway trying to bait him into flight control, but it's not seeming to work too well as these Marines are shooting very well. Over here in ventilation, you got two, three Marines trying to be held off by two aliens, and uh, see how this goes for now. Bixum just being very patient, waiting in the vent, 
waiting to pounce on any chance it gets. Looks like only two marines up, three marines are pushing up. Pixel makes himself known, shoot the kill coming in from the top, Morty coming in from the right. One goes down, shoot to kill goes down, second skulk down, med pack's coming in. Morty just doesn't have enough. And again, you see Depara going right for that, uh, right for that extractor, trying to take away some of the res flow for the Marines. But the, <coughs> excuse me, the aliens are doing pretty well. They're sitting on three res nodes right now, at, uh, compared to the Marines four, and they've only lost one themselves, where the Marines have taken out four. And you see a little bit of combat there. It looks like Depara succeeded in getting this extractor down. I assume he got killed. And uh, Dreidel and Bixum looking to try to put a little bit of damage on the ex extractor, but they might have to fall back in a second here as most of this uh, marine team looks to be coming this way. Using the extractor is good cover. And they're going to get it down before the marines can do anything about it. And he's hiding underneath a Nandi or non, I don't know, Nande, I guess, is uh, looking underneath and he found him, so. Are sneakily coming up behind uh, Crocodile Kill Kai, looking to see if he can get a couple bites in before he even knows that he's there. And there's a scan in the main base. We got a fade on the field already. It looks like they might have fast dropped the fade. The, the rest of the team's on like 33 res is the highest I see. So this is what this is going to be the answer to uh, what used to be a fast uh, bonus drop, where you're dropping a fade. Good kills by the alien team. Nobody really went down. Everybody's going back to heal real quick. Uh, they don't have blink up or anything, so this fade is just kind of shadow stepping his way along, uh, doing the best that he can. He's going to have to be a little bit careful about some stuff. And they get the scan, knowing that he's coming in as the phase gate isn't quite completed. So these skulks are going to try to, or these uh, aliens are going to try to finish off that phase. Oh, the commander recycles it anyway. As the aliens finish off the marines, and I'm sure Depara can hear all these um, marines moving into crossroads right now, so you should see another engagement here. A lot of good lurk play so far as well. Trying to avoid being shot. Depara underneath. He's going to set off a lot of pain in the butt skin stuff, trying to figure out where he is. ZQ jumps into the vent with him to try to take him out. And it looks like these uh, <coughs> these Marines really want to get crossroads. Try to deny <coughs> map movement, excuse me. Try to deny map movement from uh, crossroads. Because if you control the center of the map, you can get pretty much anywhere you want to go. Uh, it has access to almost all the rooms. As you see, a fade and a lurk, not exactly the two best damage dealers to buildings, uh, hitting this extractor and the, the commander just recycles it and they do get <coughs> excuse me they do get the phase gate up in uh, crossroads with an armory so they're trying to get a, a bit of a forward base going and shoot the kill is taking a lot of damage he's uh got to be very careful he's surrounded by the two marines that was very well done one was here one was here and they were firing at, uh, firing at him from all angles. He had nowhere really safe to go. It looks like the aliens are starting to clean out <coughs> Crossroads a little bit. They still have that phase gate, but all the existing Marines were taken out. As Crocodile Kai tries to come in, he gets taken out as well. Tapara goes down to some nice shooting by Nan Nande. Picks him has to retreat or he's going to die shortly if he doesn't get out of there. You see Leap started, Blink is almost done, so this fade's going to get a lot better uh, at moving around and trying to survive. See these Marines just trying to set up and they really don't have much research right now. Just, uh, just mines and phase tech for right now. As that Marine finds that drifter, he might have to move that shortly. And Blink is completed, so Morty becomes that much more powerful at uh, what he's trying to do. And he just, uh, Nande and Exmo just get swarmed, and all these Marine, all these aliens are just going to come right in, and ZQ has no idea that they're coming. 
He just tries to make it for the phase gate, but it's just not going to work. Looks like the entire alien team is in crossroads trying to clear it all out. You see all the mines go off. A lot of marine deaths. They're chewing on this uh, phase gate, and it looks like the recycle started, so they're giving up on uh, crossroads for the moment. <clears throat> As the entire alien team was there, Crocodile Kai comes in by himself, but uh, he's going to have to retreat too under the weight of the entire alien team. And Morty just makes quick work of him. He's got no armor upgrades or weapons upgrades, so Fade makes quick work of that. They're trying to take the power out and make it a little bit easier for these aliens to move without being seen. As ZQ, Nande, and Exmo are coming in, Vixen, Tress, and Dale, you see the lights go out. And Depar tries to use the darkness to his advantage, almost gets Exmo down. Vixen's just trying to slow them, uh, mostly. You see some more combat over here in Computer Lab. As Dreidel tries to finish off two guys, but only gets one of them. And Morty's backing out, I'm assuming to go heal or protect this hive. These two Marines looking to put a little pressure on. I don't know if this is the full force of what they want to be doing. This might just be a distraction. They get one guy down and lose both of their lives as they try to do so. So as it stands right now, the uh, Marines have lost 10 res nodes and only are holding two at the moment, whereas the aliens are holding four and only have lost one. This is a great place to be for the uh, aliens as you see the beacon being forced and all these uh, aliens just falling back except for Depar who's a skulk so he's a free life form. But you'll see that the marines have actually outgained them in res but aren't, they don't have a whole lot to show for it. All they have is shotguns and mines. So these, <clears throat> these aliens now have uh, celerity and carapace, as you can see down here on the, the menu. And uh, it, it's just making them so much harder to kill with weapon, uh, weapon zero and armor zero. These, uh, f oh, as you see, satanic, as right as I say that, satanic one-shots to par with a shotgun. But for the most part, it's getting a lot harder to kill them. Dreadle and Morty force a recycle on that extractor in uh, Computer Lab. As it, this Lark Bixum is just, excuse me, holding off two Marines all by himself, and Morty comes in to try to just clean up. All it really takes is one good, one or two good uh, shotgun blasts from this fade, and he'll really be hurting. As you see him get a little bit of a blast there, and Depar comes in just to clean up. So you'll see the map, on the map that you just see all these cysts spreading all over the place, and there's a lot of orange, a lot of uh, yellow, whatever you want to call the color, but... A lot of orange all over the map, and not a whole lot of blue. Looks like Satanic and Crocodile Killer are uh, getting split up, and they pay the price for it as they just get taken apart together. And these, uh, yeah, you see the commander already starting the. Uh, recycle process so they'll be back down to one resource node for now and it's just not a good place for them right now they're being completely dominated by uh, this very good HBC team as you see the aliens throw up the crossroads hive but Morty charging into an entire marine base is just it's not as smart as I would uh, <laughs> expect but he gets away with it so I guess it worked as to who's winning, the aliens are definitely winning this game right now. Uh, six, six harvesters to one extractor. Sataniac might be looking for a ninja phase gate, but I think the uh, aliens have sniffed it out. Yeah, he, he came through Glass Hallway. I'll show you one second. He ran right by that drifter. So the, he showed up on all the uh, aliens mini ma or all the aliens maps, so anybody paying attention saw him very easily. Jamie.
see good lark coverage, it makes it so much harder for the Marines to see with all that gas all over the place, plus the fade coming in and out of existence as you see him get stuck on the wall right there. But <clears throat> very good coverage by the uh, lark. Those spores make it very, very difficult to see what's going on. And it's just going to be two sets of gas just going all over the base. As you see the bio bombs coming in, setting off all the mines. And it's just all you see is alien kills, so... Looks like they're cleaning up, and this might be the end of the game here. There's not a whole lot of tech the, uh, the marine way. And there's the GG. So it's interesting for me at least to see <coughs> competitive games without the Onos. Uh, a lot of you know that the Onos egg is, the Onos egg drop is now three hives. So it's nice to see a lot of lurk play, a lot of fade play. I still think they need a little bit of buffing, but it's nice to see them back.